all and welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am Paige and I am still drinking cider. I feel like I should be drinking something different every week for you guys, but I just have so much cider at my house. <laughs> Eventually we will get through all of this and I will be able to give you guys a bit more of a variety. Real quick announcement before we get started. This week's video is actually number 95 for this channel which means 100 is right around the corner. So I have something pretty special planned for video 100, and I actually have something special planned for the entire month of September. It's a little bit nerdy, but I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it too, and I'm gonna keep the rest a mystery. Now for this week, I had a family friend gift me a whole bunch of ceramic tiles left over from a home renovation project. Do I need these tiles? No, <laughs> but the crafter in me makes me feel like I should use these tiles and repurpose them for some kind of craft. So I did some Pinterest searching and I actually found that a common DIY craft using these kind of tiles is a napkin holder. Now we don't have a napkin holder at my house. I guess we're heathens and we just kind of rip off paper towel willy nilly. So in attempts to kind of class up my home, we are going to be using three plain white ceramic tiles to create a napkin holder. And if you are interested in seeing how it turns out, please continue watching. Here are the three tiles we are going to be using. They are just plain white ceramic tiles. And I did go, I've got lines on this one because this is going to be our base. Now I measured out where the center was and where I wanted the tiles to sit because at the very end we are going to glue it all together like this and the napkins are going to go in the middle. But for right now, prior to gluing them all together, we get to decorate them. And the great thing about these plain ceramic tiles that are non-absorbent we can play with alcohol ink. So we're gonna do some fun decorations on these two. They're gonna be the ones facing outwards and I might put some color on the edge of this one. No point in putting color in the middle because the napkins are gonna hide it. I have all my stuff ready to play with alcohol ink. I will make a little pop up of an earlier video that has a bit more detail of the materials that you need. Now I think for color wise, I really enjoyed the last video we did that had gold and yellow and green vibes to it. And I feel like I don't use green enough. So we are going to be playing around with some green and yellow today. For these two that are gonna have a majority of them facing outwards, I'd like to do similar things on them. So I'm gonna do some green at the bottom. All right, now I have a different colored green. Actually, I think this is turquoise. Why not? Let's use it as well. Turquoise has a bit of green to it. So let's do a little there, maybe there. And now I think I'm gonna put some of this just regular yellow. So my yellow on one side, this side turned a bit more green, and this one ended up being a bit more yellow. Maybe we can try to get them to match. I kind of like the green vibes. So I unintentionally kind of made a gradient here that goes from yellow to kind of a lime green to our normal green and then into the turquoise. 
I think it, I like the way this looks and I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to throw some metallic in here. I might just leave it and maybe throw a bit more of the turquoise on either of these sides and get them to kind of spread up the edge like I did with the yellow. Well, I think I'm done with these two. I really like the way that they turned out. And now we're gonna do a bit of color just on either side of this center. Just a little bit. I don't want too much going on. So I think I'll just use the plain green that we started with. Let's see if I can very gently Scooch these over so they're together. Got some more room for this one. Okay. All right, that one was a bit more difficult to try to do same time so maybe we'll try to do one portion at a time maybe just Say a touch and then I'll probably go overboard. <laughs> Just a touch of that turquoise, maybe like near the edge? I don't know. <laughs> That's a bit better. Not quite the same. I think I like the other side a little more. <laughs> but I think it looks pretty decent. I don't think I'm gonna add any yellow. I think I'm gonna leave that just for these two main tiles. And just like any other alcohol ink art that we have done, I'm going to let these dry fully. Once they're dry, we are going to cover it with the Kmart varnish from Krylon, let that fully dry, and then we can start assembling our napkin holder. Our alcohol ink is dry. I have already covered it with a couple coats of the Kmart varnish, and for some reason, it reacted very strangely that my blues ended up kind of looking brownish, or almost like I added some of the gold metallic in there, but I didn't. So this is curious. I've never had that happen to me before, but I've also never worked with the tile. So maybe it is a result of the tile. I'm not sure. It doesn't totally ruin the project in my opinion. So we are at the point where we are going to assemble our napkin holder. As I said, this is our base and these two pieces are going to be facing outwards. And we are going to be using this E600 brand of glue. This is supposed to be a very heavy duty glue and it dries transparent. So I am going to glue this bottom side because it's going to be glued down like so. And I'm gonna use something, actually an old piece of art I'm gonna set it here in the center to kind of give me decent spacing, even spacing, and this is gonna help prop up both tiles and keep them in place. 
So I'm really just adding glue to the bottom and sticking them where I want them to go. So as I was picking up the napkin holder to do the outro, one of the tiles came unglued. Well, uh, I guess other than that bit, <laughs> the napkin holder turned out great. The tiles themselves are cool. I did mention that we had some like weird browning that happened after I applied the Kmart varnish. I'm not really sure what happened with that. I'm curious to see if we end up with the same results using these tiles again. I don't know if it's a tile issue, I don't know if my varnish is going bad, but either way, once I had the tiles, once they were glued originally to the base, I went ahead and added some cork. I added cork to the inside of both tiles to kind of help grip onto the napkins, and I also added some cork to the bottom so my surface doesn't end up scratched. And overall, if you just pretend the other tile is on this side, it's really cool. I like the location of the little alcohol ink dribble that we put at the bottom on our base pieces. It matches really well with the outward facing tiles. I think overall this turned out really beautifully. I'm just gonna have to re-glue this other tile back onto the base. But once I've done that and it is dry again, here are some pictures of it outside in the natural light. so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's craft. We usually don't work with tiles, so this was a nice fun change of pace. And if you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button and check me out on social media. Links are in the description box below. I'll see you guys all for the next one. Cheers!